All right, so this video may seem a little bit disjointed because it took place over the last six weeks during three tests. So anyway, check it out. So the other day I was thinking that the hybrid engines we've been working on would make a really good sustainer for our next rocket project. And the solid engines we've made in the past would make a really good booster. If only we could combine the benefits of both engines into one engine. What we really need is an engine that starts off as a solid and then switches to a hybrid once the solid is expended, using the same engine casing and the same nozzle. A dual fuel, dual oxidizer, dual phase engine. Hey dude! Amigo! You ready to blow some stuff up? Let's see what happens today. Come on, let's hit it. All right, so last week we had a few technical difficulties. The bone doesn't feel like it broke. Uh, so we got another engine out and we're ready to go. All right, so we had another rupture disc problem, which is really odd because the test that we were doing before, the rupture disc was fine. And every hybrid we did, the rupture disc worked fine. But for some reason on this one, it doesn't. So um, just need to go back to the drawing board on that one, uh, find out what happened. But anyway, we hit the solid. And the solid, we were trying to get some data out of it because that's the booster before the hybrid kicks, kicks on. But it, look what it did to the, <laughs> what it did to the bracket. It's, uh, it's got some kick behind it. So I've got to go home and look at the data to see if we got anything before it, you know, left the load cell on there. But I don't know how much force it takes to bend that steel, but that was, uh, that was considerable. So, anyway, back to the drawing board. And, uh, you know, let's hopefully we can work it out with a rupture disc, because that was the only thing that wasn't working. We get that thing going and have, a, have an awesome engine, so... Okay, so here's a quick recap of what we're going to test today. The engine I've been trying to make starts out as a solid, burning six pounds of potassium nitrate and sugar in one second with a KN of 550. This will get the rocket up to speed. <laughs> then after it coasts for a few seconds, it'll switch to a hybrid, burning 10 pounds of NOx and two pounds of PVC, sustaining the speed to gain altitude. All this using the same engine casing and same nozzle. Wait. Oh, the end. You like it? Alright, so the, uh, apparently the booster went ahead and burnt through and burnt the stainless steel braided hose that connects the nitrous to the engine before the uh, hybrid part fired. So we're going to have one more test and we're going to try it again. Um, this one only has 5 pounds of NOx instead of the 10, but uh, you know, it looks like we're still having rupture disc issues, which is too bad. but. Um, the uh, the data on the on the first one should be pretty good. The flame from the solid went into the NOx tank and uh, and detonated the tank, which is a little bit too. That's out of my safety zone <laughs> for sure. So the tests are done and. Now it's time to have some barbecue. Nothing better than that. All right, so solids worked really good, but uh, seriously, we're really, really lucky that nobody got hurt or that we didn't have any property damage or anything like that. And that was just, that was, I didn't, I didn't know that that could happen. I thought that that, I thought that the pressure relief valves on the tank would have taken care of something like that. But I was wrong about that. So uh, that was just way above my my safety threshold, and uh, that's that's definitely the end of that engine. So um, just really happy that nobody got hurt and that we had a good time, had some great hamburgers, and. Uh, Still had fun, but 